Look what just arrived. The new Bubble Magus KA100 Kalkwasser Stir. This is going to replace my Kalk Slurry apparatus that I had. So let's open her up and see what she's got here. It says, please read instructions and warranty before using this product. That's not going to happen. Um, let's see here. All right, pretty good packaging. I got this at Aqua Cave, by the way. Uh, I've never actually ordered through them before, but they had this on sale for 20% off. So I said, why not? It's actually a, a really good price for a Calixter, considering the pretty much the most expensive one out there is the Deltec. That one's $500, and uh, the one I had before was around $250, and uh, yeah, that one lasted about two years, so let's take a look at uh, this one. This one actually came in at under $200, so it was like $180, or $160 on sale, so let's take a look. So yeah, the packaging is, is quite nice here. Yeah, the plastic feels really good. Nice and thick. Let's tear this apart. All right, this is the QC KA100. Manufacture date 2021. Oh, wow, this is old. I guess they're not selling too well. Probably the reason why they're on sale. I mean, the construction quality is really good, though. I mean, this is for $160. This is really good quality stuff. I mean, everything is is really high quality. Nice thick plastic. Look at this thick uh, bar here. This acrylic bar and these. Uh, I don't even know what they call those paddles. These paddles look really high quality. Everything looks really high quality. It looks actually better than what it did um, on the website, and that's kind of rare. Usually, you know, things they look better on the website, but in this case, it actually looks better in person. All right. So what else? We, oh, they gave us some tube. That's nice. Probably gonna use that actually. Got some nice stickers, that's cool. Make use of those. My daughter will love these too. So we got the stickers, we got some extra, uh, looks like uh, quarter inch uh, tubing, which would be quite nice. And a book, which I don't think we're gonna need that, hopefully not. So let's just throw stuff back in the box. And kind of just take a general peek of what's going on here. So we got the power cable here. Let's unravel this. All right. And we got the the other end of the power cable. So let's first just make sure this thing turns on. Look around like that. Just want to make sure before I go any further that this thing actually works. Let's take it over here to the receptacle. Plug her in. Okay, nothing happened. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So that's a pretty fast turn. So. Being that it's turning that fast, this is going to be one of those deals that you're definitely not going to want to keep this on all the time. You'll basically be making a calc slurry. And I believe when I read the description of this that you're, you're not supposed to leave it on because the motor is it's not designed for that. It'll wear out the motor. It is pretty loud though. Get close here. You can hear it. It's pretty loud. This is a 
That's probably why it's not $500. The motor is, is quite loud. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this thing um, under, the, under the tank in the sump, and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, it's the next day, and we have the Conkster all installed here. I did have to make a couple of uh, modifications to my sump to get it to work. And you can see here uh, the paddles just started to spin. And you can see the difference here between the Avast Marine, for example, where that one just kind of disturbs the bottom barely, or this, this actually stirs the cock, which I actually like much better. Uh, you can see it pushes the calc up into the water column. So I have this set up to where it turns on for about five seconds every 10 minutes, and it seems to be working really good. Uh, the construction of this little device here is, is really nice. The plastic is strong, everything seems sturdy, and to change the calc, all you have to do is pull up on this top, you just spin it like so, you pull up, put the calc in, put it back in everything's really easy it's a simple design which I like and you can see here I have the Versa pump connected to my apex uh, power bar here the the RODI water comes out this blue tube into the Versa pump goes down into the stirrer mixes it up pushes it through the tube and then by gravity it drips right into my sump, which I have a little uh, bubble stone there to agitate the water so it doesn't get all clumpy. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, so far, I'm really happy with the product. For under $200, I really do think it's a great deal. And after about six months, I'll do another one of these videos to show any kind of issues that may have come up and uh, answer any of the questions that you guys might have. Anyway, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you on the next one.